Republican Senator Lindsey Graham of South Carolina, who famously said just a couple days ago, if Mitt Romney loses and Republicans say it's because he wasn't conservative enough, he'll, quote, go nuts. Uh, Senator Americans, uh, first of all, how are you doing today? Have you gone nuts? Because I've heard a lot of Republicans <laughs> no, saying just I'm... that. <laughs> Well, I just think the honest truth is that we have a demographic problem. If we'd gotten 40% of the Hispanic vote, uh, Mitt Romney would be president. You know, uh, 43, Bush 43 got 41%, McCain got 31%, and Romney got 27%. We're going in the wrong direction. <laughs> So how do you change that? I mean, how, how do you change it? You've got, because you have extremes in your party who yeah. certainly on the, on the immigration issue, for instance, don't want to see some sort of a, a compromise. Yeah, here. yeah. Well, well, here's what I want to see. I want to see a solution that will not lead to 12 million illegal immigrants 20 years from now. And I'm willing to deal with the 12 million in a firm and fair way, but I want a comprehensive solution that prevents the third wave of illegal immigration. That's all I ask, and I think that's all most Americans want. I think most Hispanic, uh, voters, uh, they didn't have a real fondness for President Obama. His job approval rating among Hispanics was about 50 percent. I just think they saw him as a lesser of two evils between Obama and us because he didn't really lift a finger to do comprehensive immigration reform like you promised. So we're, we'll be back in the game. Immigration is a national issue. It's just not an Hispanic issue. It's an American issue. And there's a solution to be found out there if people want to find it. Uh, Senator, Americans are going to see massive tax increases if Congress fails to strike a deal on the so-called yeah. fiscal cliff. And it's not just tax increases, also massive yeah. budget cuts. Every single American will feel yeah. the effects. What level of hope do you have mm -hmm. tonight that Congress can really come together to strike a deal? Because there's all the, always talk about, oh, yeah, we're going to work together, and then yeah. it just never materializes. All right. <laughs> it's pretty high, actually. Uh, Simpson Bowles is the way forward. Uh, Anderson. And what did Simpson Bowles do? They didn't raise tax rates. They eliminated deductions. Uh, all but two, I think, interest on your home with a cap and charitable uh, deductions. And they had lower rates, a 25% corporate rate. The top individual rate was around 30%. They took that trillion dollars from eliminating deductions and exemptions. They put some of it on the debt, some of it to buy down rates, and they did entitlement reform. That's exactly what I think we'll wind up doing, and we'll come together on discretionary spending cuts. I'm very optimistic after hearing John Boehner today say that revenue would be on the table in the form of Simpson Bowles. I, I think that's the magic way forward. And the Democrats have to do entitlement reform. But, but if you look at the polls, I mean, the people actually voted for, a lot of them do support raising taxes on, on the wealthiest Americans. Boehner said he would not do that uh, today. He wouldn't support it. Harry Reid still and, said Democrats would right, insist right. on those taxes being raised. Well, all I would suggest is that every bipartisan group has looked at this. The gang of six, three Republicans, three Democrats, Simpson Bowles rejected higher tax rates. They raised revenue by eliminating deductions and exemptions, taking that revenue back into the Treasury, applying it to the debt, and buying down rates to create economic growth. And <clears throat> some future economic growth can be dedicated to But does that really get you where you need to be on deficit reduction? Just oh, absolutely, loopholes. it does. It does. Well, there's a trillion dollars out there every year that we give away through the tax code. Take that trillion dollars back, apply some of it to the debt, some of it to lowering tax rates to create jobs, and future economic growth sets some of that aside to get out of debt. Raising tax rates was rejected by Simpson Bowles and the Gang of Six, and there'll be no Republican who will go down that road because it will hurt job creation. Tax policy but and job creation go hand in hand. But didn't this, I mean, this president got reelected very clearly saying that mm -hmm. is what he wanted to do, to raise taxes on the wealthiest Americans. The Republican challenger said he did not want to do that and he did not get elected. Doesn't that give President Obama and the Democrats uh, some right to push for raising taxes on the wealthiest Americans? Well, I think the House got reelected. Their mandate is to not raise tax rates. And go back to Simpson Bowles. Simpson Bowles rejected the idea of higher tax rates. They eliminated deductions. The people who will give up most deductions are the wealthy among us. <clears throat> Pick a rate, 30 percent, and, and tell people you got to pay it. How many Americans in the upper income level actually pay 35 percent? The tax code is a social engineering document to reward friends and punish enemies, flatten the tax rate, make people pay the rate you pick, have a 25 percent corporate rate to create jobs here in America. If you have bad tax policy, you're going to have bad job creation. Simpson Bowles, the Gang of Six is the way to go forward, and I'm confident that's what we will do.